Hi folks, welcome back for part 42 of Let's Play Discworld 2. If you recall, we had just gotten our own autobiography and decided to look inside this little alcove here. Fortunately, it's too dark. Which means we need a candle. Which means one thing. We're going to have to repeat a quest. That's right. The little candle making quest from Act 1. Was it Act 1? I think it was Act 1. Yeah, from Act 1. The little candle making quest from Act 1 gets repeated here. The clock. Hmm. What a lovely, brutal swooshing sound this clock makes. But before we go. Thanks to Albert, we don't have sugar. And what's better for convincing a horse that, you know, we might be his friend than sugar? And I think, if I look back here, I saw a funny little thing here. I didn't look at it. We should have looked at Looks it. Looks like a servant's cord. So. I wonder what this does. And what do you think a servant's cord does? Rincewind? Does exactly that. Yeah, grump away all you want. Good old grumpy Albert. Time to get out of here. And now that you're out of the way, Albert. You won't be there to stop me from grabbing the sugar. I better just let it. Oh, well, still. So. Let's take care of making the horse our friend, and then see if he'll let us put that saddle on him. After all, we do have to uh, be able to ride the horse first, right? So let's do that. Grab the rope. Thank hey, good, I can grab the rope. And give the horse the sugar. That's a good binky. There, I think he likes me now. Yeah, we can hope, can't we? And sugar. Let's see what happens. See if he can ride horses any better they can surf. So we get on. This works. Ah, oh. Hey! Ouch. Don't you just hate the way that certain characters join forces with game designers to make your life miserable? Well, there was something else that we're going to repeat another quest from. Remember how we surfed? Let's try that! Hope this works better. Okay, Albert, just try to knock us off this horse again. Stuck. I did it! See? I can ride! I can ride! Yippee ki yi yay, sir. But I did it! See? I passed the test! Yeah, so I see. Shall I prize the saddle from your flesh now, sir? Or later? The trouble with you, Albert, is you have no sense of fun. I'll laugh when I'm prizing you out of that saddle, my friend. I bet you will. Yeah! Yep. 
Okay. So we have managed to ride the horse. Uh, let's go talk to Susan and see if she will accept our uh, autobiography. My life biography. A very long length of rope. Just like a short rope, only, you know, longer. Formerly full of sugar, currently empty. Currently empty is good. We never did look at some of this. A nice lacy nightgown. Lacy, huh? So kind of see-through, I would imagine. There. My ongoing life story. Are you satisfied? Oh, look. An autobiography with join the dot pictures. <laughs> That's a catalogue of all my hopes and dreams, all my achievements. You treat it with just a little bit of respect, young lady. Oh, look. Here's your thought for the day. Ha! Ah, what does it say? Actually, the line is blank. <laughs> Give it back. Some people just don't appreciate quality literature. <laughs> now just tell me something else you'll take in trade. Anything but the story of my life. All right. Go get me one of the really old biographies, then. One of those ones with pictures. They're kept in a locked, dark room somewhere oh, inside. Goody. Locked, dark room, huh? Hmm. Well, we know where that is. Hey, leave that alone, you! Darn it. So... First things first. A jet black pond. Jet and, ooh, black look, pond. There's huh? little white fish in it. Little white skeleton fish in it. Oh, black well, water. At least his fish food bills will be fairly small. I doubt that the water is black enough yet. Hmm. Well, in that case, let's blacken the water up. This huh? should really blacken the water. A pond filled with ink. Normally, I'd worry about killing the fish, but I think in this case, the point is moot. Probably, yes. Now, this really is blacker than black. A black robe. De rigueur for your actual spectre of death. So, we have two of the items you need. Now... Since we're here at the beehives, and of course we're gonna need beeswax and honey, because it's a beehive, folks. We need a candle, so we need beeswax. <sighs> of course. So we get to repeat a quest, and instead of the normal, we have nice lacy pajamas. Well, at least it isn't an undergarment this time. The undergarment fit better. Oh. Me grab. Just strike him. And now we have an oily rag that's on fire. Well, this should do the trick. There we go. I'll just grab some wax. Yes, you will. And I'll just sneak a little honey, they'll never notice. Okay, so Wow, talk about smoke. Sinister black beeswax. Hmm. I'm not exactly sure that it's a commercially viable product, but still it's very atmospheric. A pot of evil black honey, as made by evil black bees. I don't know if they're evil. But we do need a candle. Now that's a sinister black candle. Should look good on a sinister black coffee table. Next to a sinister black hovel improvement magazine. <laughs> oh, and that means it's time to cut the video. So, when we return next time, we will actually go get her the autobiography she craves. And will give us the toy wagon for her. Why we need the toy wagon, you'll find out later. It's not really a great big hint, but hey. Anyway, see you next time, folks. Take care, people.